is up, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, Barrow9, and I'm back with more Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Let's get right into it. So, we are Vexalia. In the world of Cataclysm. And we've got a compound bow, some carbon fiber arrows, speaking of which we should probably reload. I forget how to reload. Um, it has been a while, so if you will give me a second, I will quickly skim the controls. I do know some of these, but I am not really that well aware of, um, it's just R. Oh, I'm wearing the bow. That would do it. <laughs> um, it's been a while since I have played. So we will equip. Where? Wield. Bow. Reload. The compound bow does not need to be reloaded. It reloads and fires in a single motion. Prove me wrong, game. Wielding a hatchet. We're not gonna do that. Um, so yes, we're Vexalia. Shit, I should have named this Iman. Well, whatever. Um. Shit, now I don't know how to speak to people. Like, I have had no social interaction in this game because I've normally not dealt with people. Let's see. Let's see. Yes. Or at least we've got shelter, blah, blah, blah. Latina. Oh my god. Uh, well, uh, yeah, tell me about it, because Vexalia wants to get... Uh, corporate accounting books? Sure! Makes sense. She's, uh, very greedy, so she will try to get some shit out of her. She got a lighter. Speaking of which, how much volume do we have? Not a whole lot. Right, um, and I will try to reload that with the carbon fiber arrows. Are they all in there now? They are all in there, so that's good. Um, emergency jacket? How am I doing? Warmth wise, I'm doing okay. Why am I, uh... My hands could use something, but that'll cripple them dearly, so probably not. Um, so we will see if we have a refugee center. I'm pretty sure we will, but just in case we don't, I would like to know about it now. Oh, please tell me we have one. There it is. Oh, thank God. Okay, well, it's not that far. We actually have one this time, so that's good. Um, what's this T? Oh, that's the fungal tower. That's just wonderful. That's gonna be a delight having to go through every time going to the refugee center. A uh, pure delight. Oh boy, it's gonna be fun. Um, well, gosh, well. Oh my god, there's so much shit down here. Oh fuck. Well, the pocket watch is gonna be so helpful. Uh, we're gonna wear. Wear. Whatever. I was gonna say we we're gonna wear the pocket watch, but. Uh. Don't really have one. She has a canteen, so she's gonna keep that canteen. She's gonna wear it, actually. With her apron. Uh, clean water? Yes, please. A hot plate? 
What is this sorcery? Pour into a container. We're gonna pour it into our canteen. Um. I mean, I don't. I don't really want to not resort to technology because they kind of use technology in the thing, but they kind of don't because there's guns and. Ooh, actually, what armor am I wearing? Because I didn't really look. I'm wearing a sports bra. Oh, very nice. Steel toed boots. I forget how I compare stuff. Um. Isn't it. I? Like Shift I? Or something? Yeah, Shift I. So we will compare boots to the steel toed boots so the steel toed boots are better overall except they don't give me more warmth which is fine because it's dirty warmth overall the encumbrance is way better and they actually fit storage you can actually put shit in the boot that doesn't make sense uh it conducts electricity not the best but we'll have to deal with it um should probably actually unload the sewing kit and drop it because we got a tailor's kit now which is now going to be reassigned to Q yes Q R so I can just press I Q R and then it'll work um, and then we're gonna unload that one and we're going to drop it and then we're going to look at this one and then we're going to unload this one and then we're going to drop this one too yeah fuck it we'll, we'll deal with technology why not um, not canon, but whatever. Uh, we don't need a canteen, considering we got one. Uh, sweatshirt. I mean, it wouldn't be bad. But it wouldn't be the greatest idea ever. Holy shit, there's so much stuff in here. How much is in here? Is there a flashlight in here? I'd like to know now. Yes, my voice cracked. Get over it. There's a radio. Um, I mean, it's helpful, but I don't really think that's gonna help here. Jesus Christ. Did they fix the loot? They must have. Because I think this is too much loot now. <laughs> Ooh, an electric lantern, that wouldn't be too bad, but I'm not really looking for that. Actually, how much is the winter gloves? That gives 40 encumbrance! Nope! <laughs> nope! That's, uh, that's a no. Um, am gonna load that into that. Oh, there's something down here. Oh, it's just a crawler. Yeah, I know. Just, uh, move away from that. Wield the hunting knife. We'll wear it. And, uh... Yeah. Cut it up. Oh! Well, that's... That's... A much more enjoyable sound to hear. <laughs> than, uh stuff uh we'll store that in our boot because why not uh the backpack where the backpack because we kind of need one a foldable plastic bottle don't really know how that works but Wait, you could store... <laughs> what the fuck? 
can store water in backpacks now? Is, is that what I'm getting at? Oh, the backpack is better for armor. Don't really need it, so no. Okay, so we'll take the bandages, we'll take the multivitamins, we'll take the... I'm not gonna take the heat pack. Cotton balls. Multivitamins. Another heat pack. Don't really care. Uh, drop the plastic bottle. We don't really need it. Um, a winter coat. That is helpful to know for the future. We'll take the lantern. Take a lantern. There's a lot of stuff in here. Um, but to be honest, kind of makes sense. It's a survival shelter, so you'd think they'd have some stuff in here. Uh, I'll take the big book on first aid, sure, why not? Take the thread. Take the lighter. Uh, big book on first aid, don't really care because I have one already. Wool socks. That actually wouldn't be too bad, so we will take off the other socks. And where are the wool socks? And... Uh, Put that to where that's under everything else. Now my feet are probably, yeah, cost three more movement points to move around, but I will stay, um, fairly warm, so it's good. Do I have anything on my head? Besides the, the, the coat? Not the coat, the, the, the hood? The hunting cap. Mm, yeah, that's fine. That'll work. Uh, we will drop the pair of socks. Hmm. No. Uh, rain, rain protection. Don't really know what that is, to be honest. Refillable lighter, that'll actually be helpful. Um, an actual lighter, lamp oil. I'm surprised I have not found a flashlight. That's one thing I'm surprised about. There's a lot of books and supplies down here. Um, kinda thinking I should have turned down the loot spawn. Just maybe. Just maybe. Uh, don't really need a sweater, don't need a pillow, meat soup. Sure. Battery, chocolate bar, we'll eat the chocolate bar, I know. Get that out of the way. Um, for those of you new tuning in to this game, uh, if you just literally didn't take my advice and download the actual launcher, this will look completely different. It will not, um, it, it won't look as polished and it will look like ASCII graphics if you know what those look like. And that's not the best. So, if you did not take my advice and are now regretting your decision, uh, I implore you to download the actual launcher because it automatically updates. Uh, nothing bad will happen when downloading it. I swear, if something bad has happened, I don't know about it. And yeah. Time to motor. 
it's just a very nice thing to have. Now there's a mansion up there, I could go there, and then again I could not. So we're just gonna ignore that. We're gonna go to the small little town over here that is full of what three houses? Yeah, like three houses. So Yeah. Uh apparently a moose and a skeletal dog are fighting and the skeletal dog lost. Big shocker. Um now the moose is coming towards me? That's not good. Uh, we'll just we'll just wait a bit, make it to where we can actually hit him, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll fire. Uh, P take a precise airman fire. No. 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 Yes. Never mind. All right, well, we gotta move. Um, I believe it's this. Yeah, we start running. We'll start running. Oh. Yeah, the mooses very early on are very deadly and uh, are quite a big problem, um, in case you couldn't oh. tell. It's kind of fucking my shit up, so oh. not great. Um, Yeah, not the best. Uh, draw the knife. We'll just drop the bow right now. I don't really care. I'll pick it up later. The moose is already damaged enough. I feel like I can kill it. Yeah, we're good. Now, normally that is not advised. Um, you will have a very hard time trying to kill that. So... Don't do what I did. Don't be a dummy. Uh, typically avoid the moose. Don't, uh, don't do what I did. Because now, oh, I should probably stop running because that makes noise. Um, I'm not going to use my cursor at all. I'm just going to have it off the side here. But um, if you look here. This is the sound I'm generating. Zero is like absolutely nothing. The only reason I'm generating two noise right now, two sound, is because I'm breathing really heavily because I'm winded. Also because I'm moving. Um, typically you want to have that as low as possible. So it's a good idea to uh, have that low if you want to be a stealthy character. Now, this is a shady zombie. It's, it's one of the most non-aggressive zombies ever. Um, I guess you can see it. It's, eh, actually, it is kind of being aggressive now. But, uh... Yeah. Just, uh... Do that. Keep running a bit. Now, um... I'm probably gonna run out of arrows at some point. So, yeah. Probably not great. Because I got a tough zombie and a shady zombie on me. Actually, um, X is to look around. So I'm going to give you guys a detailed description. Actually, I'll just do that. I can read off. So, shady zombies is the lowest of anything. Uh, an uncanny shadow envelops this creature, as if light itself were to repulse to touch it. Repulse is... were to repulse to touch it, whatever. All you can make out is its shambling human-shaped outline. So it's typically a very uh, stealthy zombie that doesn't really want to avoid being detected. Then we have a tough zombie. Once an athletic human, now a brutal monster. Its facial features are twisted into an expression of pure rage. So yeah, fun. Um, how many arrows do I have? Four more. Hmm. Should probably. Uh...
I don't know why it gave me that option. I think it's set right now to where it automatically picks up arrows if they're nearby. <laughs> Which I might have to change that. See, this this guy's going fast, and he tried to grab at me, and that's a big no-no. So we're not, mm, you know, we're not uh, we're, we're not entirely into that, dude. So uh, please, if you would get a little closer. Now the reason why I'm uh, staying behind this bush is because. Uh, normally walking around is just 100 movement, but walking through a bush is 400, so that's typically four turns. Four turns for him to go through the bush and attack me. See, like, he, he took a little bit make going through that bush. It's, it's not four turns. Like, you have 200 movement, I believe. Um... No. Base movement cost is 109. It's, it's basically just movement, and it's... It's based on speed and all that. So uh, it's pretty cool. It's a very cool uh, game mechanic, speed and all that. Now, if I were not butchering these corpses, uh, the zombies would eventually revive at a lower percentage of health, and I would have to kill them again. And that's just a waste of time. So, what you typically do is butcher them, which increases your survival so you can craft some more stuff. And, um, then you just win. Because you get better, and if you have skills through stats on, uh, you can get uh, better stats through it, obviously. Now, if you're wondering how I'm running, um, if you don't know and you're literally just starting this game just uh hit question mark and then this comes up and then if you want just press one that shows you all the commands and if you want you can change them and what i'm typically doing is i'm pressing period which waits a turn that way the zombies can move and i can get better shots and you can do that in uh the interface when firing a weapon which doesn't take as long like it waits a brief period of a second like probably like a fifth of a second maybe at most i don't know just guessing um but what i'm doing is i'm pressing f and then a after i wait a while and see that it's uh good to do that so right now i'm pressing f and then i'm pressing period and as you can see this bar goes up if it looks right here like the symbol uh that is the percentage to get a headshot. So these three stars, that's the percentage to get a headshot. The plus is just to get a hit. And then the the columns are just if you graze it. So if you like pass through like a shoulder or something. Like just, just the very outer skin. So this one, a decent chance to get a headshot. And it's pretty much guaranteed to hit. But I'm going to wait a little bit longer. And then uh, take a shot. And he's dead. And he had four carbon fiber arrows on him. Now, um, typically, oh, notoriously fragile. Stands a bad chance of remaining intact once fired. So I got lucky and got those arrows back. So typically what you want to do is make arrows and then use those. But I'm a big fat dummy and didn't do that. So we're just gonna have to deal with that. So we're gonna wait and then we're gonna fire. And then uh, fire again. So the steadiness, that is how accurate it's going to be. The higher the steadiness, the better your accuracy and the better your chances of actually doing like headshots and stuff. And yes, butchering all the corpses is pretty much necessary. Um, yeah, she's not really farsighted, so I didn't really take that trade. So, yeah. So if I really wanted to, I could smash this vending machine open, and an alarm will sound, 
But I get everything inside the vending machine, so it's kind of a gamble. But it's not really. So, meh. So typically, uh, if you just play the game vanilla, it kind of looks like this, and your character is an at symbol. And all the graphics are based on this. So this is a forest, and this is a swamp right here. It's a forest swamp, and this is a mansion right here. This is a crater. And all these little up arrows and side arrows and all that, those are houses, the green ones at least. Uh, this is a restaurant apparently, and this is a... Uh, fucking police center, I think. A clothing store, whatever. Uh, the stuff. And this is uh, an evac shelter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a note here. Uh... So, for the future, I know something's there. So I see the flashing N. So which means it's a note um, and all that shit's gonna be downstairs it's gonna stay there because NPCs they do go up and down stairs but the one that's standing there is going to stay there not going to move at all that's the whole point of it that's your beginning quest something to start you off with and all that now if I look at my morale um, I'm suffering a negative 7 because I'm wet now what morale does is it has a focus and focus allows you to do tasks faster so if by chance oh shit I don't have a crowbar fuck I didn't do that either um well there's a zombie so we'll, we'll kill him uh, crowbars are for opening doors obviously um, in case that wasn't entirely obvious. So I got a critical on that one. I don't think I got a headshot. Um, but he is moderately injured now. So I'll just uh, do that. Got another critical. And then uh, we'll do it again. And just do that. And that one was a headshot. We got all three arrows back. No sweat. Butcher in the corpse. And how you butcher is you press Shift B. And any of these controls you can change. At all. You can change them all. It doesn't really matter. It's just something you can do. And typically I like changing my controls. That's not good. That's a zombie brute. How far? Okay, he's not that close. Zombie brutes. Um. Well, I'll just read the description of them uh, if you press shift X that peaks and then you can look around that's just a peak so zombies can't really see you I mean there's a chance they could see you but whatever um, its entire body bulges with distended muscles and swollen festering wounds this guy is the jack dude of the gym I'm talking about the jack jack dude you know the Arnold Schwarzenegger and his prime type deal going on there. Um, pretty jacked. See, that's the problem with these, because this is a subway. And for whatever reason, there's a sheer drop, <laughs> which means as soon as I jump down there, I can't get back up. So it's not good. Um, okay. Uh, water. In case it wasn't entirely obvious, is the best choice for a uh, liquid consumption. That's why I have been drinking that shit. Not drinking that shit, but made an effort to get that. Obviously, there's some other stuff like this. Uh, this uh, fruit juice here. Now, for whatever reason, people don't tend to point this out. But if an item is blue, that means it'll spoil. I don't know why people haven't pointed this out. I really don't. It makes no sense to me, but whatever. Um, even with the parentheses fresh there, that doesn't mean anything. This is literally out in the open. This is like literally a juice box. 
literally juice box that's already had a hole punched into it. It's, it's literally that. And these cans aren't even opened. As soon as I eat one of these, like if I eat a chicken noodle soup, then I'll bring it down to three. And then it'll be open. So the elements will get to it. And it could go bad. So that's why canned food's good. But it's bad as soon as you start eating it. That's why you want to eat it as quickly as possible. Um, ooh, where's the bear? Ah, oh, the bear's over there. Uh, shady zombies are all over there. And there's an armored vehicle over there. That's perfect. That's kind of one I needed. Except not really. These guys aren't coming towards me. Um... See, they're hostile, but they don't really try to make an effort to come towards you unless you come towards them. Then they start coming towards you. Like this guy right here, he's now on me. If you look, he has an exclamation mark before his name. That means he's actively trying to kill you. <laughs> and you should probably try to kill them back. Just maybe. Just, just the thought. Um, so we'll take careful aim and do that shot. That was a good hit. That wasn't a critical, but it was a good hit. Do that again. Wait for the... We get one step closer, take a careful shot. That was another good hit. Uh, the arrow embeds itself in the shady zombie. That probably means I'm not going to get that one back. I haven't used bows, so I don't really know what that means. I just know <laughs> bows are a finite thing and are really silent, but deadly. So I just took a whim there and yeah, see I only got one arrow back out of that. And I used what four? So I'm very slowly but surely running out of um, ammo, which is not good. <laughs> And considering I only have three more arrows. <laughs> yeah, not liking my chances there, so yeah, we'll just go this way. We'll we'll uh we'll make our way towards the refugee center. There's an apartment tower, I believe that's what that is. Yeah, an apartment tower. Um that's a decent place to go for tonight so we'll uh we'll start heading our way there making our way there heading our way there <laughs> my fucking stupid uh there's a lot of stuff in this town probably gonna have to go around it that's a gas station pharmacy nice pawn shop there can be a lot of good stuff in there sporting goods store that's good police station Maybe, I don't know. I'll make our way to the uh, apartment tower. Ooh, that sign there means that's a minefield. Uh, if you look, it says sign, danger, minefield, up here. Danger, minefield. And if you look, not see, let's close. We're not trying to close anything. This mound of dirt right here, uh, that indicates a mine. The closer you get, depending on your perception, the higher chance you'll actually notice uh, mounds of dirt, which equal mines. Now don't worry, there's not gonna be any mines outside of these signs. Like, stepping here, just, just in this cube, not cube, well, the, the square. Anywhere within this square can be mines. And the mounds of dirt signify there's some there. So, that's fun. Um, I will... find a... nice bit of space to go into, and I will end the episode there. Yeah, see, most of these are fleeing from me, like the chipmunks, groundhogs, and 
with all that shit. They're fleeing from me because I don't have animal uh, empathy, which means I can't kill them and get food. But that's fine. Um, that's kind of cheaty anyway. Well, it's, it's not that cheaty, but it's it's a little bit unfair because you can basically get free food. Basically, because animals come towards you, and it's it's not uh, the best way of going through the game. So you can kill the 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 animals easy enough, and you get food coming out the ass if you do farming, which nobody does farming in this game for some reason. Yet it's it's like really good. Um. Now I'm gonna have to kill this guy quickly, and I'm gonna have to hope that he goes into the bush. He's going to the bush. Nope, well, whatever. Okay, he died, please. He didn't give me any arrows, unless I picked them all up. Nope, I'm officially out of arrows, so yeah, that's not good. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of melee. We'll just wear the bow. Um, now don't worry if the zombies don't revive right away, it takes like a day or two I believe? But they're not the uh, smartest thing to just leave sitting there. So this guy had ammo on him. So it's not the best ammo. I might use guns, I don't know if I will. I might, it doesn't really fit in the lore but... Ooh, from the north, I hear glass breaking. It's a womp. That's a zombie dog. Now, zombie dogs are really fast. And... Don't really give you any loot. See, right now, I'm missing this guy's shit ton. Which isn't good. <laughs> so... You know what this means? I'm running. Because there's fucking four of them. Because, fuck you, right? <laughs> Why not? Fuck you, I have four dogs. Actually, I could possibly leave them into mines. Breath gives up, Jesus Christ. Well, that worked. <laughs> They're all dead. We'll just let that happen. So apparently I'm not that very, uh... Athletic, considering my breath gave out for no reason. Now, hopefully, I will not trigger a mine, because my perception's decent. Yeah, it's 11. Typically, the basic is just... Uh, fucking... 8? No, 11's pretty good. That's getting near pretty good. So anyway, I <laughs> before I'm not going to leave you guys in suspense anymore, I'm just going to end it there. You guys are just going to have to deal with it. And I'll, I'll see you guys in the next episode where we try to um, make our way through that fucking apartment tower and get something set up so we don't die. <laughs> See you guys next time. Bye-bye.